Hello everyone, my name is Frank McKinney. For those of you who know me, it's great to see you again. For those of you who don't, it has not been unintentional, and I will tell you why. First of all, I'm coming to you today from my oceanfront treehouse office. That's right, where I design all my houses from and write all my books from. I'm not here to talk to you about the treehouse. I'm here to talk to you about a business you and I are both in, one that I've been in for 25 years, and that's the real estate investment business. That's right. 25 years ago, I bought a $50,000 crack house, a fixer-upper in a bad part of town, fixed it up, sold it, made a $7,000 profit. And I was so happy it could have been monopoly money. My concept was validated. Buying an undervalued commodity, fixing it up like nobody, selling it like nobody, and making that $7,000 profit. 25 years later, okay, now I didn't say 25 minutes later or 25 days later, 25 years later, We've now built some of the most magnificent oceanfront spec homes, homes built without a buyer, averaging $14 million per sale. Most expensive one was $50 million. So we went from a $50,000 fixer-upper 25 years ago, a lot of little houses in between, to a $50,000, to a $50 million mansion just a few years ago. We have a treat for you, a peek inside a $12 million mansion. The guy who built it says he left home as a teenager with just $50 in his pocket. 2020 continues. Meet a builder who's given big a whole new meaning. Martin Bashir found him sitting on the top of the world at the top of the market. McKinney is unafraid. He seems to be taking the biggest risk imaginable with his approach to real estate. That's because he builds entirely on speculation which Frank McKinney invests in elaborate marketing strategies. Willing to risk life and limb he launched himself and a motorcycle over a replica of the first home he'd ever sold in front of real estate agents representing some of the richest people in the world. The true show starts when you walk in the front door of that house. Welcome everybody to the finest oceanfront home in all the land. Who on earth is going to buy this? All it takes is one. What would you say to some people looking at your properties who might be tempted to think they are monstrosities? They're huge, gargantuan, vulgar. Well, typically those are the people that aren't my buyers. I wanted to share with you in one day what I've learned in 25 years. Why? Well, I've got a lot of knowledge, A. B, I run a pretty nice charity that builds self-sufficient villages in the poorest country in the world, in Haiti. We've built 21 villages in the last 11 years, housing over 10,000 desperately poor and homeless people. That's reason to number two. Reason number three is I'm kind of tired sitting on my couch or getting on my computer and watching the, I don't want to call them fake gurus, but maybe unexperienced, inexperienced gurus who've been at it 25 minutes or 25 days, not 25 years. Meet Frank. Don't let the hair fool you. He's not a rock star. He actually designs and builds homes for the uber rich. I'm a doer. I go out and do. I don't talk about it. I make it happen. I'm not going to follow headlines. I'm going to make them. That Aquiliana house you saw, that's the world's largest and most expensive certified green home at the Make It Big event. The anti-seminar. That's why I call, I'm calling it anti-seminar. I don't need your money. I don't need to coach you because there is no coaching program available. I want to teach you what I've learned in the last 25 years. Because I have that knowledge, A, and B, because I want to benefit our charity. Real estate. Enormous fortunes are created with this tangible commodity. And the lifestyle of a real estate millionaire is intoxicating. Millions want a piece of the action and thousands have benefited from it. But nobody has done it Maverick style quite like Frank McKinney. Frank McKinney, the Maverick, Daredevil, real estate entrepreneur and best-selling author. Read what other people are saying about my real estate career. Maybe you want to learn from a person who has walked the talk for 25 years. And maybe you want to do it for the benefit of not only your education and the betterment of your real estate career, but for the benefit of those most desperately poor and homeless over in Haiti, where a portion of your pro the proceeds from your, your course, from your donation, goes to our Caring House Project Foundation to build villages in Haiti. It's a wonderful combination. It's a win-win. Learning from someone who can walk the talk, not a 25-minute overnight sensation, and also benefiting the world's most desperately poor and homeless. Take a minute to read. I would love to see you for this upcoming one day at the Make It Big event 
the anti-seminar. Last reminder, anti-seminar, no coaching programs, no upselling, nothing other than all I have to teach you that I've learned over the past 25 years that I can teach you in, in a day. We'll see you there. So many amazing things. He's a philanthropist. He's a real estate mogul. He is an author. Frank McKinney has rocketed from selling $40,000 junker homes to creating $40 million mansions. USA Today calls Frank McKinney the king of ready-made dream homes, and the Wall Street Journal knows him as the real estate rock star. Donald Trump writes of Frank McKinney in his new book. Frank McKinney looks like a cross between a rock star and a surfer, but that's Frank's style, and he's very successful. Frank McKinney has built a mega successful life that has allowed him to have it all. Fame, fortune, family, and philanthropy. In Haiti right now, we're building a village for 900 people, and we're a little short. We want to build that village by the end of the year. Initially, we wanted to do this around the world, different locales, Honduras, Jamaica, Nicaragua. But seeing what we've seen here today, there's no sense in going anywhere else. Like a true maverick, Frank McKinney has blazed his way through the successes of real estate on his own paths. It wasn't long ago that I came to Florida with $50 in my pocket and no plan other than I'm going to listen to what I think God's trying to tell me to do and I'm going to apply the abilities that he's given me and I'm going to succeed.